Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today, finally get to the uh, very important episode that a lot of people have been finally waiting for, is the remaining of the uh, top 30 animes of the 1980s. And today, we're going to cover uh, the last uh, year, 1989, and we're going to go over uh, some of the titles in that one. And then once we finish, we will then have our completed our top 30. So it's really good, it's really good and exciting that uh, we're going to finally get to finally complete this and, and make the list. Now, you know, there's lots of uh, titles on there. It's only a top 30, and there's already you know, a good number of titles. So you know, there's, there could be a quick, big mix-up in, uh, in the, the current number of titles on there. So it's uh, definitely going to be challenging because there's a, sort of a, lot, a good number of uh, uh, movies and OEVAs that come out uh, in this year. So it's very good. So... Before I begin actually going through the titles, again, I want to remind people to go down below, click like, click subscribe. Uh, you know, that definitely does help the algorithm, you know, just if you could just at least leave that, you leave a comment about a particular video, that would be really great. Uh, it really just, just helps, uh, you know, YouTube algorithm work. Um, if you also want to uh, support me uh, financially, I also have the uh, Super Thanks button activated as well as the uh, PayPal and Patreon links down below. Again, uh, you know, that really does help out. Uh, you know, I really appreciate that. I got some uh, extra episodes coming out. Uh, you know, once I get uh, the anime giveaway uh, taken out, also, you know, that uh, gives you, um, you know, for all the sponsors and uh, and also the people who are all subscribers, you know, you get first pick on on the anime giveaways. And I'm still doing number five right at this present moment. So again, uh, you know, if you haven't had a look at that, do check it out. Right. Um, so yes. So uh, today's topic is uh, the final completion of the top thirty. For 1980. So again, I've already gone through, um, you know, every single year, and uh, broken down all the you know, significant titles in both TV series, movies, and OVAs. And now I've now gone through every single year, and uh, you know, taking those titles and basically you know, making a top 30, and basically uh, you know, swapping the titles in and out all through that. And now we're finally down to the last year, 1989. Once they complete this one, we'll have that list there. So this is really, uh, you know, exciting to get the, you know, finally done all that. And uh, after maybe we we'll complete that, I'll continue on to next year and see what we got. Okay, but right now, let's uh, concentrate on 1989. Okay, so uh, without further delay, let's begin. Okay, so we bring up the charts here. Um, on the left-hand side, we have the top 30. Uh, um, for the 1980s, so I'll list it out there for you. I've got uh, broken into different columns: the TV series, the OVAs, and the movies. So we got 30 titles in each one, and that's so far w of what we've compiled, going from 1980 all the way to 1988. Okay. Uh, again, you look at the previous episodes uh, in my uh, anime database below. Uh, you get the links for those if you want to actually go through and look at well what I've done when I went through each and every single year for the my anime database, as well as uh, going through each of the years to actually, you know, build this list, okay? So now we're at 1989, and we can look at the chart uh, on the right-hand side uh, where I've compiled all the significant um, shows from the My Anime list and uh, put it into a chart. So for 1989, we have 12 significant TV shows, 56 OVAs, and 14 movies. So obviously this being a top 30, this could very well significantly change everything that's on the list, right? So, um, you know, this is going to require uh, quite a bit of work to kind of go through that. So um, we're going to have to go through all the titles and, and, and uh, do the same. So this is going to be quite exciting. We might need a few episodes for this, but let's start with the TV shows and let's uh, finish off and fin finalize the top 30 TV shows for 1980s. Okay, so looking down at the first column here on the uh, left uh, database, uh, these are the most significant titles uh, for the 1989. Um, and uh, the first column is for the TV shows. And uh, so the first uh, season or first uh, you know uh, block of 1989, there's nothing, so that makes it really easy. Uh, the second season uh, or the you know middle block or the spring block as they refer to it, um, this is a very similar tells here. We got uh, Dragon Ball Z, we got Random One Half, uh, Heaven Wars Shoot Auto, uh, Transformers Victory, uh, Idol Legend Eriko, uh, Grand Zort, God Beast Liger, uh, 
Okay, so and uh, again, uh, the third session, which would be the spring session, uh, has no videos, so that's good. Okay, and in the fourth season, which I guess is the uh, fall season of 1989, we have uh, Pat Labor on TV, which is the you know, full ser TV series uh, uh, following the OEVA series for Pat Labor. We have the third season for City Hunter, uh, so Hunter 3. Uh, we have uh, Yabara. Uh, we have Jungle Taete. Um, which is you know, the version of Kimba the White Lion. And uh, the last one is Enemies Pirates. Okay, so yeah, not that bad of a list. Uh, let's see how they integrate into the top tier, uh, TV series here. And that will finalize um, our uh, top 30 TV shows. Okay, so the easy ones first. I mean, obviously, the, um, uh, Dragon Ball Z is uh, you know really easy because we already have Dragon Ball. Plus the OVAs and the movies and that stuff, so that's you know one big franchise. So you know we'll just add Dragon Ball Z to that franchise. Um, Transformers Headmasters is already on the list as well. Now, <clears throat> if I had to choose between Transformers Headmasters or Transformers Victory, I'd still say Headmasters was the better series, even though it's an older series. But I, I think you know if I had to. You know, it's just, just like the, you know, the iconic characters that there were that, uh, that was used in Headmasters and that kind of stuff. I would say, you know, they had probably the more fame or popularity over Victory. So, you know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that one. Um, you know, but still, it's representative of the franchise. But if I had to pick between the two, yeah, I, I'd still go Headmasters. Um, you know, Transformers, is, you know, in general, represented in the top three already. And Sander 3, we already have Sander 1 and then 2 already on the list, so we'll, we'll add, you know, Sander 3 to that list. So again, the ads are usually the really easy part, so th those ones are going to be there. So that's, that's easy enough. Now, the hard one is the next batch, which is basically the ones that, you know, definitely should get some sort of, a, you know, looking at uh, for that, uh, you know, to see if they actually fit in. Um, for this series, I, I would have to say that Ranma one half, obviously. Rumiko Takahashi, you know, um, you know th this is her next big series after Maze on Akaku, um, and Yura Tatsura, and so definitely, uh, you know, she was like, you know, really doing really big and that kind of stuff, uh, you know, in this era. Afterwards, you know, she'll go on to make um, uh, Inuyasha and all that kind of stuff as well. So um, we're gonna have to find a place to put Ranma. A Heaven War Shirato, you know, that's going to be, you know, on and off, right? Because I said, um, you know, a lot of people looked at that and said, well, hey, this is kind of a, you know, a, a Saint Seiya knockoff sort of thing. You know, guys in armor, uh, they're all, you know, you know, instead of doing, like, you know, Athenian gods, they're doing, you know, everything having to re relate to the Vishnu and all that other stuff. Um, and, but they're all, you know, still based off of animals and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's, it's you know, that kind of... Um, you know, mystical type of thing. I like the storyline, and and uh, you know, and it was a very um, you know nice, pleasant series to work with. So again, I thought I'm gonna look to see if we could find where, it, where that would go in. And of course, uh, Pat Labor, uh, the, t the TV series. Now again, now Pat Labor was already popular uh, popularized as a OVA set because they made up you know the Pat Labor um, uh, you, know, you know smaller set for that. Uh, so, but uh, definitely now that they've got that, uh, that and of course they had you know, the movies and that kind of stuff, you know, they should be slotted in this list somewhere as well. So let's see if we try to find places for that. So with that in mind, what can I put in there um, and do comparatively speaking um, that uh, would probably replace things like that? Okay. Um, looking at this list right away, if Having to you know look at the you know should we say the bottom three if I if I you know had to try to find a way to to eliminate three titles what would I go for and if I had to you know speculate obviously you know Shirado would be the lowest title on this list but I mean I would have to go. Well, I mean, I can see two right away. Uh, uh, Heavy Metal, Elgheim, and Dragon are, are right now sticking out. Um, although, yes, you know, they're both personal favorites of mine, but I realize that Dragon are suffers... Well, both Dragon and Elgheim both suffer from the fact that they never had translations of, made for those ones until quite later, right? Um, you know, uh, even for something like Heavy Metal, Elgheim, it really took me... 
um, you know, to, you know to, to take the, you know, to spend the money and, and, you know, hire translators to get it translated so that, you know, it was available to North American artists, artists here. And I actually did all the fan subs for uh, Heavy Mail L Guy, and that one was a task and a half. For those. So, so, you know, so that's a little more, you know, personal, you know, a little bit, a little, uh, like to have that in there. Same thing with uh, Metal Armor Dragon Art. A lot of the translation was, you know, you know, did up and 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 uh, did the translation of that. So, um, it wasn't until that time we actually, you know, got, you know, got some popularity out of the thing. Um, and of course, the last one, will obviously, be on the list would be SPT Lazenar. Again, another series that suffered without translation. I, I really, I was really wanting to get into doing SPT and Lazenar because I never understood this, the, any, any of that story. Um, but then again, I said I stopped doing the fan subbings in 2004 and never got to that one. So that is three titles right there. And I say that confidently I could, yeah, uh, Ram and Half definitely below, you know, is, 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 you know, above all those. Shirado being the lowest one, um, I would say, you know, would definitely deserve a spot above those three. And of course, Pat Labor, uh, you know, being a, you know, very popular mech show, um, you know, uh, definitely should go in there. So based on, uh, you know, popularity level, where they're located, um, I, know, I know worldly speaking, situationally speaking, uh, you know, Shirato was really popular in, in, in basically southern hemisphere co countries and that kind of stuff, especially like, like Brazil and that kind of stuff, uh, was really big. Uh, I know Dragon Art and that kind of stuff was bigger in, in Europe and that kind of stuff. But uh, looking at the other titles, that would be probably the only other exception that I'd have to add to the list. Because I said Elgheim and SP Lazar took a long time for it to get to. Um, um, and for that reason, I'll have to take those three out and add these twins in. So we'll make the adjustment for those. Okay, so now going down to the last little column. Which is the titles that uh, you know whether they actually will make it and squeak on the list. So basically, now I'm looking at the bottom of this list of the top two series. Now, what would I consider to be you know the bottom thirty, right? Um, well, then you know, let's say like twenty-five to thirty, roughly. Let's say let's, just, let's say the bottom five. Let's see what what those would be. And looking at the list, you know, I'd have to say, you know, maybe Borg Man. I mean, Astro Boy, that's not one of my favorite anyway, but because of the, you know, the, of, of how people influence on that one, that, that I, could, I, could, I could see that. And same thing with your Model 3, again, uh, you know, not in my class range, but I, you know, I, I, I put it in there because of the, the recognizable ability of it. So, I mean, it's in the same boat Astro Boy is in. Um... Blaney Queen, I'll leave in there just because, as I said, you know, a lot of people did grow up with, you know, you know um, when Harmony Gold brought that kind of uh, show over, that's one of the ones that a lot of people went into. Was, was Captain Harlock, a Queen of a Thousand Years, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, that was really big over here. So I'm leaving that one in. Same thing with Bismarck. A lot of people, you know, you know, got the influence of that one when it came in. The only other one that was going to be, you know, might be low, low on the list, might be Zillion, because again, not not really people got into that one when it when it, when it came in here. Machine Robo f falls in the same category with Transformers because they said you know that that was part of the GoBot generation. Um, Cat's Eye, of course, didn't really do that popular over here, but you know really did well in in, in French Canada and of course in, in France. But then again, all you know, City Hunter and that kind of stuff, you know, really went well in French. So um, that was really big. Um, and I guess Oregon still obviously didn't do didn't do that well over here, but again because it's you know. Um, you know, part of the super dimensional you know, series, you know, we've got that with them across and that kind of stuff. So again, that's sort of our bottom benchmark titles, right? And so I'm going to use those to compare the, these uh, you know, last titles here to see if any of these, you know, kind of could bounce one of those, you know, those, those final ones off. And let me pause you why. So let's see, we go to that list here. We have Idol Legend Erico, which is no. Uh, you know, you know, in the Creamy Mommy series and the you know Pastel Yumi and and the Magical Emmy and that kind of stuff, Erico pretty much falls in that same sort of line. And again, Magical Girl shows just you know had no um, influence uh, at this particular time in there. I'm mean, sure uh, when I do the top uh, you know 30 for the 1990s, okay, sure, Magical Girl shows 
uh, Sailor Moon and that kind of stuff, all were really big. So, you know, Erico doesn't go. Grand Zort, um, you know, just like, you know, in the era of the giant robot shows and that kind of stuff, um, it wasn't Gundam. That's the problem. I mean, Dan Cougar would, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know had its you know, thing, but, um, you know, because without translation and that kind of stuff, um, you know, anything that, that that would be like, you know, Mazinger like or whatever, um, you know, would have any it would have some influence, but unfortunately Grand Zord didn't fall in that category. Um God Beast Liger, that one was heavily pushed by Animedia. Um, you know, there are a lot of like you know, pictures and posters for that uh, series. Uh in many ways, you know, kinda of reminds me of uh, you know, you know, Sorcerer Hunters or Bakarat Center. Except you know much cleaner and much you know much earlier in in, in in the time, but because of the fact that, again no translation very you know, lack of this you know distributability and that kind of stuff at this particular time that can't hit the you know that one we get the list. Um, the next one is Yawara. Now this one's an interesting one because I said at the time um, people you know I said people knew what Yawara is. Generally speaking, when you get the sporting, you know, type animes and that kind of stuff, it you know it doesn't really fit in. Um, I never did like the character design of it, so I mean, I, I you know that I just just, just you know just uh, it was a turn off for me. But again, when I'm looking at the lowest titles on this list, a title that has no translation, you know, I find is going to be really hard to make justification for it to fit in. I mean, you know, I said. Would it knock out Cat's Eye? You know, no, because it, it, Cat's Eye had a, a much bigger following in France and that kind of stuff, where it actually did get translation. So, um, so yeah, I, I couldn't add uh, your word in there. Jungle Taite, which is a uh, you know, Kimba, it you know, so, so that would then land in the same category as as, as why I would have Astro Boy and Yamato, and um, you know, Orgus or Cat's Eye. In there is because you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically historical reasons and historical how, how it became popular over here. Uh, these are the titles you know that were really big at that particular time. Uh, you know, I, I, I hazard a guess to even throw in things like Bismarck and and Queen of a Thousand Years, right? Um, so in that respect, I would have to say that you know, at best, Kimba. You know, might be able to knock out Astro Boy or Yamato uh, at best, but you know, thinking of the franchise that Yamato is, is definitely a bigger franchise. And if I have to think, uh, you know, the difference between Kimba and and uh, you know Astro Boy, I'd still have to go Astro Boy, right? Because you know that definitely would be it, it, that still is a bigger franchise uh, than than all that together. So, you know, would it knock out something else that, that you know, a little bit smaller that would you know? Had more trans, you know, maybe just about the same as translation. I wouldn't put it over Bismarck. No, I definitely, you know, Saber Riders and the Star Sheriffs. I remember was you know pretty poor you know, on, on on Saturday morning TV because uh, I remember I you know I sat watched a lot of that one um, where I just like you know ne- actually just didn't get into Kim at all. Uh, I remember it was you know a little bit of it was on CBC and, and possibly even on the French Channel. I remember. Um, but for the most part, it did not show up, uh, in the Saturday morning, uh, you know, lineup at all. You know, Kimba, no, that, that wouldn't make it. So that's probably the ones that came close, but I'm going to leave that one off the list. And the last one is, of course, Enemies Pirates. Um, this one had fan subs, um, but late in the season, okay? Uh, would it, and, but the problem is it being a shorter series, and you know the, the the fan subs came very very late in the '90s. By the time you know that sort of came out, then you know a lot of the people kind of forgot about it, right? And just kind of you know lost a lot of interest in that kind of stuff. That so again, that's part of the reason why I couldn't uh, find any titles in the top thirty that would allow that one to come in. So I'm leaving Enemies Pirates also off the list. Okay. So that pretty much does it. That will finalize the top 30 of the top t- uh, uh, the 30 TV series. So, um, again, this is a nice, good, uh, you know, concise list. You know, we, you know, we've looked at all the different very possibilities and that kind of stuff. Obviously, you know, we've had to do some, some hard decisions here and there. But uh, I think this is a pretty representative list. 
All right, so here uh, we have now a good uh, completed list. This is probably one of, you know, one of the most sort of uh, like, you know comprehensive list that actually looks into each of the different titles and that kind of stuff, and not a list just is built out of you know favoritism and uh, and uh, you know uh, you know titles that uh, you know you just you know, you know, personal tastes and that kind of stuff. You know, you know, I tried to be more objective and uh, you know look at uh, how these values and that kind of stuff are on the, on this list. So, anyway, we will continue on the next video. Uh, when we get more of these videos done, all right? So, until next time, I will see you again.